Hello everybody, what's up? My name is Cascade and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, here we are with Hank. So it's just in the car. You know, the usual thing. After going to that sex club and uh, figuring out all that stuff about those deviants. Which is rather interesting, I do have to say. What a nice little environment we've got here. All snowy and all that. Hank. Buddy, my main man, what is on your mind? Look at this view. Hey, Hank. What's got you so down? Oh, he's drinking again. That's not good. Nice view, huh? Yeah. I used to come here a lot before. I wonder if androids could actually appreciate that. Before what? Oh, the androids, hmm? probably. You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. What? Why does he even It was like your that? son, Probably right? because he doesn't yeah. want to talk about it, which would make His sense. His name was Cole. making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. To push past a breaking point. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Hey. Fuck, what's there this we go. world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. It is, is it cool. Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? To see how all this is coming together. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... Human. ...in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Wow. What about you, Connor? Super direct, I guess. <laughs> That's not what I was planning on. What about me? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You that could is have my shot job, those two girls, but you didn't. Ooh, Why didn't you questions. shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Jesus, Hank. Buddy. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Come down. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. Oh God, I feel I'm afraid like I'm going shoot. to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Ooh, what a question. I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Interesting. 
Hey, he's still our Where friend. Are you going? That's good. I like that. Get drunker. <laughs> I need to think. I hate how you choose one thing that you think might be something else, and then it just ends up being something completely different, where it just completely decimates an entire relationship that you're working towards building. But regardless, we still ended up with what I would have preferred, so that's good. And we learned some new and interesting things that I didn't expect if I would have chosen something else, I guess. Which is pretty cool, you know, just think about. Back to Marcus. This is pretty cool. I'm liking the uh, environment and how they are portraying everything and all the androids. So far, at least, I mean. It really shows, like, the test of our reality of what we would do on androids if androids were to become an actual thing. I think that's what the game is getting at, and it has a bunch of other elements underlying it as well, such as, like, like, locked in and forced into a society. It's just super can't stay silent anymore. to it's time be a part of what we experience. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford. This Academy. is dope. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. It's like a little heist. Marcus, look, you're all dressed up. Like a little snaggy boy. There you go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to change. I love movies like this where it's kind of like they're describing what's going on as they're actually showing you. It just saves so much time and looks so cool as well. So it just presses upon the, the point of what's happening. Without Hello, having sir. to what can I do double over it again. I'm okay, thanks. How shall I distract her? Just go up and talk to her, I guess. Oh, snap, biddle diddly doo da. Looky here. Then now this is the scary thing about it. Like if an android just deviates and then becomes part of something else, that they focus on their own agenda that actually disrupts humanity or goes against something bad. Badge, all that stuff. Water bill. Or water problems, rather. Oh. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Joy Fire Department. Oh, he's even masking his voice, too. Yes. I feel like it's the best one maybe because then that way we're not doing undue stress to her daughter you know and that way she's gone for longer now what can we go i have here? an appointment with mr peterson do you have any id yeah yes yes of course but can you actually fail at getting your id i need your help dope this is always pulling stops around. Where it's like, oh, you I don't think you can do this, ID. but then you actually the do something like this. Security gate. Thanks. I don't know if I explained that right or in a correct way, but being able to call the person there past security. Can I go through? I can. Okay. Use the elevator. What happened there? Jesus. I wonder what that is. I don't know. 
I do not know. Uh, this is pretty good, right? Just waiting for. There's no way elevator is that fast. Let's let's be realistic here. In all the elevators I've ever been in, they're never that fast. Especially in like hotels or anything. I have like four floors. <laughs> but I guess this is the future, though. So that might be why you are here. Where am I trying to go? Right to the studio. <sighs> what am I trying to do here? Access the server room. Find package in the men's bathroom. Men's bathroom, men's bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Right across the way. Server room is right to my right. So we'll see it going this way. The server room. This is pretty cool. It's a little too much of orange in it, I think, but like realistically, well, that's a weird and interesting angle. To the restroom. Oh, look at the reflection of the doorknob. It's all the curvature as well. That's cool. I mean, if you look at this, it's like, oh, hello. This is what the future would look like. It looks pretty dang cool. Even though this isn't an actual reality of it, it's more so just an interpretation, much like Back to the Future or something else like that was. But I still think it's cool to see or interpret what you think it would be like. Especially in a society like this. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Hello. Yeah, I think it'd be weird for him to be in here since he doesn't need to go to the bathroom since he's an android. It's cool how it says working on there. Nice little attention to detail. utility injured. Hey, we just saw one of those guys. My bad, dude. My, my bad. Okay, um, uh, I'm working. That is why I'm just trying to get around you. <laughs> utility android? Is this a utility android? This is not a utility android. Okay. Can I run at all? No, that's not run. Although it'd be a little suspicious if you did run. Ooh, look at these. Oh, look at the little, uh, thing they have, the camera on there. It's like one of those, uh, super fancy arms that moves around. Gosh, where is this guy? We just saw him. Wow, a lot of people are not happy. I just imagine if androids were to replace them. <laughs> God, where did this guy go? Not in there. Or did he go in there? No, that's just a normal guy. <sighs> Can we see him at all? Nope. It must be over here then. Unless it actually is one of those things. Hello. This must be Utility Android, because I'm not finding anything here. Utility Android, how are you? Where in the world is this person? Or Android, should I say? Hello? Is he... Oh, there he is. Jesus, I guess we should have known that because his stuff was out there. I need your help. Hey, that's just like the other guy. So they just make a bunch of them. Which I guess is, is um, helping the game in a sense. Because then they don't have to make an endless amount of um, people. They can just do one or like, in this case like five or so. And then just re replicate them because they are androids. Open the fire escape. 
Where is the fire escape? Nope. The only reason why I keep going into that is just to save time. So that way I'm not just bumbling around here forever trying to find stuff. And make it more interesting for you guys so you're not just like, come on, get on with it. Because you've probably watched this before or are looking at this and being like, are you kidding me? This is boring. I mean, who? I mean, it still might be boring for you to watch, but I mean, I'm just trying to do my own thing here, so. <sighs> Oh, hey, bro. How are you? Do, 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 do. To the server room. Shit. We need to access oh, the server what? room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. They just got there, though. Oh, right. Wait, no, we saw those things. He used to play poker, man? Oh, of course, I love poker. That's cool how you can just interface like that. Hey, what's going on here? Why is he talking to this little bot thing like? Dude, what's your problem? Even though. I don't think you'd be able to do anything. You can't right, respond you get the back. Platform, I'll take care of the guy. Everything you need is in the back. This is dope. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Cut windows. Okay, this is this is getting exciting. Do 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 do. Dope. Don't you just love picking stuff up and putting them down? I do. That's for sure. Whoa, this is like some Mission Impossible stuff here. What the hell are you I doing? I thought, what? We're um, Do we have an alibi? doing maintenance. That's not gonna security. work. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. That's better than even killing him, We've I guess. too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've gotta move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. All right, all right, we're on the clock. Wow, he just really came out of nowhere. All right, that's weird. I don't have to do it with this. I should probably hold on to the glass now. Here it comes. Oh, ho, ho. oh man, this is. Terrifying. All right, shloop, shloop, stop. Man, oh man. <laughs> Ladies first. Gives you the eebie-jeebies. Oh, are you kidding me? They're just climbing up that. It's weird. Oh. I was gonna say, it's weird that they're latching in because they are androids, so they should be able to do it theoretically perfectly every single time. But I guess since they deviate or something like that, they might not have. I mean, I would still expect them to have full capabilities. Now, this is cool. Uh, you know, just a uh, normal day in the life of a uh, uh, DB. Just climb up the side of a building. No biggie. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. This is the tallest building. It seems like it might be. Nah. I wonder what other, all the other people on the inside are thinking as we're climbing up the outside. This is all. Cool, kill, kill, kill. Oh, are we doing it? Oh, we're doing it. 
Oh, heck yeah. Super okay? dope. Why wouldn't I be? So cool. Come on, let's get the others. So, oh, they went in the service left, so we did go through all that. Could you not call the service left before? Or could you not use the service lift to get up here originally? I don't know. I don't understand how buildings work. <laughs> Let's do this. Reach the ball broadcast room. Gosh, I cannot speak for the life of me. Oh, this broadcast room is right here. Jesus, Kate. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Let's breach this. All right. Time to activate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, is anybody home? Get to the main access. I hate not being able to see around these corners. It's absolutely atrocious. All right, hello everybody, how are you? What is even in here? Oh, security guards. No killing. You can't take any human lives. A cause is more important than the lives of two guards. No, I, I agree with. Wait here. I don't think we should kill. What's that doing here? It means we have a no whole idea. separate agenda. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? Yeah, we should not kill at all, because that just diminishes our cause of what we're trying to do, gain freedom. If we do that while killing, we are seen as absolute murderers in this case. Or in that case, rather. <laughs> Just points gun. All right, we gotta get shoot this guy. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. I. Uh, he's gonna hit the alarm, but. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Okay. Think carefully about Let's what do you're this. Gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. <sighs> Remove skin. Wow. Tell me when you're ready. I guess that's not surprising considering that we're able to do that with our hands. But it's just so weird. Okay. What do we have in store for us? You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their it's own. It's so weird. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Um, equal rights, I'd say. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. 
We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Yeah, these are solid building blocks. Um... We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. That, that'd be cool. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. It seems very This relevant. message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. In time. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. To what's happening now. They're coming! All right. Let's go! Let's get in this. Okay. How do we do this? Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Ooh, I'm gonna get myself killed here. What are you doing? Hurry! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Simon. Come on. Jesus Christ. Holy hell, that was intense. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Why is it my call? Why do I have to be the one who did this? Oh, Jesus. I don't want to do it, but it, we're here on our own agenda. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. I won't kill one of our own. I'm glad it gave us that opportunity Let's go. to redeem ourselves, because I really didn't want to do that. And giving him a gun, I think, was a better idea, because that means he can do it himself. Holy smokes. Oh, gosh. Wait, no. What are you doing? Go. Oh, ho, ho. Dope. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. Jesus. We came prepared. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just Holy been broadcast on smokes. Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place hey. just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine chilling yes, list of demands. And this is what we need. We need the, the public opinion to be on our side, because otherwise they'll just hate us as well. With an isolated individual or an organized is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? A threat. We After were what peaceful. happened today, can we still trust our machines? Yeah, but I think that's the best route to go. You know, um, being a peaceful and all that, so that way the public opinion actually respects your demands and everything like that. So they have a better opportunity to actually res to fulfill the demands that people ask. Or that, in this case, the androids ask, rather than being all threatening. Because if that were the case, then not much would get done or it'd be very bad. I think at least. Software instability, yeah, of course. Hello, Connor. Welcome back to the garden. Wow, it's, yeah. 
four seasons in a day here, isn't it? Oh, hello, Amanda. You're over there. Oh, I probably can't walk there. I probably have to walk in this. Whew. This is cool, though. It's been going between each season. Absolutely fascinating. Because it really shows the um, environment they have here. And they're able to show it. Because usually in games you can't show every single environment. Especially if it takes a course hello, of Connor. like a... I thought you what? might enjoy a little few days cruise. or so. Oh, yay, little cruise. I love cruises. All right, Amanda, what do you have to say? Why are we here? Oh, I see. I'm doing the cruise. I'll be your little henchman then. Away we go. I'm gonna have to, am I going to have to do this the entire time? Of course I will. Because why not? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. I get that. Tell me. What have you discovered? Uh, everything. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. It's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Can she access our memory and see exactly what we did? Because if so, that puts you us in a bad scenario here. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. Wait. But now I realize yeah, that's not, not good because that shows software and stabilities. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Oh, so she can see. That's not good. I feel like Why that's didn't what you shoot? <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't wasn't know. Sure if it was no use. I should have said no use instead. I guess that would have been more what I was looking for. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Oh, no. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. That's pretty good. Something's happening. Something Does this serious. reflect the real world? Because I imagine we're in like a simulation right now. Time is running out. Interesting. Time is running out. Ooh, look at that. Hello, Hank. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. My bad. Hi, Hank. Oh, snap. Shit, what's going on here? We were just There's here. Party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. By being good. Roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Ooh, can we talk to him now? How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by <laughs> Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging You know, around? we do what we do. Everything that happened. Whatever. Hank's our the friend. I've been taking over the investigation. You sent me off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. did not take a liking to that. That's, it's interesting. Don't fuck up my crap scene. Okay, dude. What a fucking prick. All this I'll red be nearby. Tape. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's I hate when people get around. arrogant. Let me know if you find because anything. they have a role okay. or a title. We ask that you recognize our them. dignity, to do our stuff. hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. God, this looks so realistic. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come that. for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. Ooh. This android seems to have that objective. Interesting. Alright. He's got two different eyes. Spare parts, and what is this? Is this one? Are you kidding me? You can see that from just this. That's insane. Crazy. Prototype RK200. Registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsey to Carl Manfred. Weird. So you. Even despite taking his skin away, you can still get that. Something? That's odd. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? That's super cool, I do have to admit that. But being no. able to pinpoint it so perfectly Nothing. is weird. Speak for the life of me, Jesus. Oh, oh snap. That's right, he was shot, so he's bleeding. Has anyone else seen this? Oh, they must have seen it. Don't mind me. we can uh, get from this. Oh wow, there's a lot more, okay. Aha, uh -huh. so now we're figuring out how they came in. I mean, of course we already know all this stuff, but for Connor to figure it out. So we got that there, that there, and this boy here. They didn't break in, that's for sure, yeah. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Yeah, that's weird, because it weren't androids controlling this. You would have thought that they would have noticed it and reported it right away. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Hmm. Bizarre. Hello. You're all the same, which is weird, but I guess it works. Hello, how are you? I guess I'll get things started off. Free action despite a deviant. What is your function? 
I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Oh wait, his eyes just shifted. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. <clears throat> yeah, this is been him. in contact with any other androids recently. Only this is for sure him. In the normal course of my Especially because you can't see his LED on the side. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And it's I'm him. going to you find out which it is. Us. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Pretty sure it is him. Right, where were we? If you give yourself up, maybe yeah, I can convince sure. the humans not to destroy you. I'm pretty positive it is him. All the signs point to it. Come on, give me those eyes again. Yep. Is this guy doing it? I don't know the other people are doing it, it looks like. Why should you all be destroyed I'm if only sure one him. is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Holy crap! Jesus. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. That's not what you want to see. Jesus. Okay, um, we need to get our bio component and put that back in us. Holy crap, that is not what you want to see. That is absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Well, we can make this for sure, I think. Jesus Christ, though. That's pretty violent. Oh my god. He knew exactly what to go for as well. to do that I think that was honestly the best choice to do I wanted it alive you saved human lives and that is our purpose which is good you saved my life because if we had done something else he could have destroyed everyone in here there's still more stuff to do in here though isn't there Right? What? We couldn't go to the roof at all. I thought for sure we would have been able to go to the roof. Alright, let's see here. Attacked by... Which one is this? Is this... Yes, yeah, so this is the... Investigate corridors. There's a corridor. Um, 
So it had us go to the kitchen when we could have done that or probably gone to the roof. Darn it. Well, at least we got something there, which is good, I think, at least. <sighs> I would have preferred to go to the roof, but... You know, you get what you get, and I'm not going to go back and do it because I said I wasn't going to. So let's just progress on with the story there, and I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching, as always. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys on the next episode then. See ya.